You're watching Game Show Network. Everybody in this audience has a money stake in one of our celebrity teams. Playing for the red section from the Jeffersons, Isabel Sanford and her son Sanford. Playing for the yellow section, Shirley Jones and her son Patrick Cassidy. And playing for the blue section, Phyllis Diller and her son Perry. Places, please! As we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattle Tales. And now here's the star of Tattle Tales, Bert Conway! Hi, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Tattletales, our special mother and son week. I, uh, it's really fun to watch these relationships. I know you're all sitting there at home identifying, as I am, with how each one answers the questions. And let's go on, get on with it, shall we? Where are the fellas? Bring on those young men. There they are. Hello, sons. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, any pressure between shows? Uh, mom <laughs> behaving okay? <laughs> I mean, it'll be interesting to see because very often we have husbands and wives on the way we usually do, and there's a great deal of discussion in between shows on, you dummy, how could you have said that about me on television? So we'll see how this one goes. Fellas, here's the first question. We're the 150 bucks to your rooting sections. Sons, would you say that your personality is more like your mother's or your father's? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this should cause some discussion along the line somewhere. Phyllis, what do you think? What will Perry say? Oh, this is so easy. Oh, it is? <laughs> yes, so easy. P uh, Perry's almost a carbon copy of moi. He is? Yes, he's so lucky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. Yes. What about your other children? Did they all take different roles? Cause children... Terribly different. Really? They are terribly different. Uh, uh, anyone who knows his brother would, can't believe that they are in the same family. Really? They aren't even in the same planet. <laughs> How did they get along as children? Uh, they fought. All, all the time? No, they tried to kill each other. Right. Well, then we know they're nice, normal kids. They're nice, darling kids. Okay, you're going to say his personality is mostly like yours. Yes. In what way? Uh, well, he is uh, a born comic. Yes. And he laughs a lot and totals cars. And totals cars. <laughs> <laughs> and then laughs about it. <laughs> okay, he's like you. Here he comes. Perry, uh, whose personality do you favor, as they say? Oh, uh, this is a cakewalk. Mother's. That's it. You got it. <laughs> what would you say is, is that personality? What is your personality, Perry? <laughs> Give us a one line about them, what you're like. Oh. Well, how about what your mother's like? <laughs> In love with life, just having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice way to be. Mm. All right, Shirley, you're up. What do you think? What will Patrick say to this? Well, uh, you, Patrick really is, a, I think, a pretty good combination of both Jack and myself. But if I had to choose, and I think if Patrick had to choose, he's going to say he's more like his father. And think I think so. he is. You basically. think so? Yes. Now you have... <laughs> They're applauding that. I... That's always hopeful. You I know. know. Like, you yes, make me right. feel good, gang. <laughs> You're with me. <laughs> what about Sean and... and, and... Uh, if Sean were here... Sean is me, down the line, uh, just as Phyllis said uh, uh, about uh, her son. And, and uh, Ryan, uh, I don't know who he is. Right. <laughs> I'm not even sure I gave birth. <laughs> I think once you get past three, there's always one in there you don't know I where they came no from. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> who is that one? <laughs> okay. You'll say, he'll say, his father, here he comes. Patrick, you must choose one. What do you think? Uh, this is tough. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Sean is much more like my mother, so I'm going to say my father. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. All right, now you're doing beautifully. Uh, Isabel, what will Sanford say, do you think? Well, uh, I have another son, Eric, which, uh, uh, he, like Shirley said, I, I don't know. He's not like me and is not like his father. My daughter she's not like me she, she, but Sanford is crazy so he's like me <laughs> and I think that's what he would say a lot of people have said you know you're just like your mother oh really I don't know if they mean that good <laughs> that bad. but that's what he's been told okay he's more like you here he comes Sanford uh, whose personality is more like uh, your well whose is your more like whose person <laughs> Would you say that your personality is more like your mother's or your father's? 
Well, as you know, my mother's a ham and she loves the spotlight. A little bit of that rubbed off on me. But then on the other side, she always say, you're just like your father. <laughs> so I would say, I'm just like my father. No, she said you're more like her. Sorry about that. Shirley and Patrick Phyllis and Perry are right. Split it in a half, the first question. We'll come back with question number two and a lot more stuff. Don't go for it. If you're minty my policy. Here we go. Question number two coming up. If you're ready to go, gentlemen, listen carefully. You're doing beautifully, I must say. Uh, sons, if you had to associate your mother with a certain room of the house, which room would it be? Okay, I don't know. This might be kind of tough for you, but what comes to mind? Off you go. Sometimes the first instinct is, is the one. Uh, Shirley, what do you think? What will Patrick say to this? Well, it certainly wouldn't be the kitchen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think he'd say the den. Think so? Probably, yeah. yeah. I, I think he'd say the den. Yeah? Yeah. Not the kitchen, eh? No. Not a, you don't cook, uh, you're not interested no, in that? No, I, I do it every now and then. And I did it when he was a baby, but that's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does Marty <laughs> cook, by the now. way? He doesn't know where the kitchen ah, is. Right. No. I understand. No. He knows where the dining room table is. That's though. right. You exactly. Bet. And All he right. sits a lot. You're going to say that he'll say the den. The den. Here he comes. Patrick, you must pick a room, uh, sir. This is tough. Yeah, probably uh, why we asked it. You guys have been doing too well here. I've got a one. Three, two. Well, I'm going to say only because it has sort of everything that my mother's ever done in her career and in our, in our life and hanging on the wall and everything, and plus her Academy Award. I'm going to say the den. That's the place. That's nicely done. Perfect. Very nicely done. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. And now, uh, Shirley, of course, was too modest to tell us about the, the, the awards and so forth being in there, but that was very nice. Isabel, what will Sanford say? Well, again, like Shirley, I don't think he can uh, put me in the kitchen because uh, I don't have anything in the refrigerator other than <laughs> the cubes of ice, a couple of bottles of wine, and milk. Right. So, That's enough. I would say, because uh, I'm constantly on a diet. Uh, I would say the den. That's where I study lines. That's where I work, you know, also. Okay, he's going to... It looks like three den. Well, then we have three den mothers is what we have. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Somebody had to say it. I'm sorry. It's my job. Here he comes. Sanford, pick a room, any room. Which room will it be? Mm. Basically, when I, when I always come over the house, basically, she's in the den. So... What I have to say is the den. That's the place. <laughs> now that's tough. That's a hard question, you know. Everything is done in the, in the den. It's like a meeting room. Now that's. Uh, what do you think? Now what will Perry say, Phyllis? Uh, well, I know what he'll say. You do? Yes. Well, it won't be the bedroom because I never take my clothes off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you got this body, you keep it covered. <laughs> I mean, how can you have a cleavage when you got no cleaves? That's true. <laughs> I've always said that. It, well, we don't have a den. We don't have a den. We, we have a, a Hope Salon, a Bob Hope Salon. We have an Edith Head. It's the John. Yes. <laughs> I know. And, and yes, we do. We have an Antoine room. We have the Gothic alcove and the loggia. I think he's going to put me in the kitchen where I've had my greatest failures. No, no, it's not true. You're a wonderful Well, I'm still trying. So, I think at the kitchen. I, I vibe to the kitchen. I have a bright red kitchen. Yes, you certainly do. Oh, yeah. You have a beautiful house, I must say. I love my house. I do, too. Yeah. All right, you're going to say, he'll say, the kitchen. kitchen. Here he comes. Perry, you must pick a room that you associate with your mother. What do you think it would be? Well, the garage is out. The garage is out. That's a toughie. Mom's got a beautiful, beautiful home, and there's all the rooms are appointed so nicely. And But with mother... The one that I would really associate it with is the uh, kitchen. That's the one. Everybody got it right. Now, it was not that easy. We'll split it three ways. Gentlemen, nicely done. You'll step to the rear, ladies. It's halftime. We'll bring the sons out front. Continue with the second half of Mother and Son Week on Channel Tales after this message. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second half of Channel Tales starring Phyllis Diller and her son, Perry. Shirley Jones and her son, Patrick Cassidy. And from the Jeffersons, Isabel Sanford and her son, Sanford. Right after these messages. 
I believe kids today... Girl. Need a little love? Watch Gene Rayburn. Change places after halftime. I have the three sons with me. Their mothers are hooked up in the back. We have a terrific game. Two-thirds of a tie. Uh, Phyllis, you and Shirley are tied 125. And Isabel, you have $50 for the red section, but plenty of time. This is We're only at the halfway mark. Mothers, listen carefully. It's for you. Our magic genie is going to let you raise your son all over again. Would you do it exactly the same, or would you do some things differently? Some things. Goodbye. Think it over. Okay, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about mine, and you're thinking about yours. Uh, Isabel, uh, what do you think she'll say, Sanford? Would she do some things differently, do you think? Uh, that's hard to say. Yes, it is. Very hard to say. <laughs> that's very hard Especially to say. Especially in public. <laughs> no, I think she'd do exactly the same way. You think so? Yes, I, I think we're talking about in terms of maybe discipline, uh, in terms of uh, maybe school or driving, dating, all the things that mothers have to pay attention to. Well, we had a lot of obstacles, and um, uh, we couldn't avoid them anyway, so we probably would be doing the same thing, I think. You think you know, it would be yeah. pretty much the same? be pretty much the same. Okay. I, we have more questions coming during Unless the week. Unless we were so. born into a lot of money, yeah. but we start off poor, so we would basically go into the same format anyway, you know? Right, that's right. When you're poor, you don't have a lot of choice. Right, you have no choice. I know, you know what you so mean. So I think it would probably be the same thing unless we had money. Right, you know, exactly. So we'll All right, we, here she comes. We'll find out. Isabel, would you do it exactly the same, or would you do some things differently? Well, you see, it all depends on how I'd be financially situated. Because um, I know you want to, would you do things differently? Well, if I was, I think I'd do the same. That's exactly. right. That's what he said. Yeah. And he mentioned the financial situation, because yeah. that does affect. Yeah. But if I had, if I was financially better, I'd do some things differently. Sure. But if it's the same, I'd do the same, because I think I brought them up well. Yes, I think you did, too. You did very nicely. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what will Phyllis say, Perry? Uh, I think she'll say the same. Think you'll say, she'll say the same? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about things like discipline? Was she a disciplinarian? Was she tough? Uh, no, the, the only time that Mother ever lifted her hand and, and gently put it down on me, I, I turned around and I just started laughing. It was so soft and cuddly, little Pat. <laughs> really? That was it. That was your punishment. Oh, yeah, and I turned around and laughed. She started laughing. We walked out of the room and had a great time. <laughs> I think that sounds great. Yeah. Of course, you were 22 at the time. Yeah, so. that bothered me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're going to say, no, she would do pretty, pretty thing, things pretty much the same. Yeah. Here she comes. Phyllis, uh... What would you do if you could do it all over again? Well, um, you know, we moved around a lot, and Perry uh, has been enrolled at least 82 different schools. And therefore, his education uh, was always a, like catch as cat. I used to enroll him in the wrong class from town to town because they call him 3A and 4B, you know, stuff like that. I didn't pay enough attention to his education, so the kid's an idiot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I do it very, very differently. I would pay much closer attention to his schooling, so I would. Oh no, that's not what Perry said. He said he, of course, he doesn't admit that he's an idiot. He thinks everything, <laughs> he thinks everything went very well, and he obviously is not. But that's very sweet that you. Now you did move around a lot because uh, you were on the road, I guess, a lot, huh, Phyllis? Yes, uh, I, I really was a mess. Yeah. Well, Perry uh, but he turned out very well. Actually. He sure did, yes, and Perry he... doesn't think so at all, and and we don't either. Good. Well, I'm glad. He well, the blue the then. blue section's not thrilled, but then, no, but, I guess not. But they understand. All right. Uh, what do you think, Patrick? What will Shirley say? Well, Marty, my stepfather, constantly says that the three of us never got enough discipline, and that we were spoiled little brats, and so on. I don't, I don't think that we're spoiled. However, I do think that that's one thing she would want to change. She would have liked to have been a little harder because my mom is real, real easygoing and real. She's a great mom. So yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that she would like to do some would, things she, differently. A couple things differently, yeah. Okay, here she comes. We'll find out. Shirley, um, Patrick has given us his answer. What do you think? Are there some things you would do differently, or would you? Well, do exactly I the same? I may personally think uh, that I've made some mistakes, but he's turned out so well. Then I'm going to have to say I wouldn't change anything. No, he said, he said discipline perhaps was lacking. <laughs> that means Isabel and Sanford get the whole thing for the red section. We'll come back in a moment with a biggie. Don't go away. Ten cents may not look like much. Five seven. That's one eight hundred two two nine eight eight five seven. 
grab some popcorn and get ready for the past courtesy of Game Show Network. We're back, and I have some good news for our studio audience. We have a little extra time. We're going to squeeze in another question, which is worth $150. Then we'll play for the $300 question, meaning we have 450 more up for grabs, okay? Okay. Uh, listen to this one. I happen to love this question. Mothers, do you think a son living away from home should call his mother at least once a week, yes or no? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> At least once a week, huh? Okay, we'll start with you, Perry. What do you think? Now, remember, I'm asking your mother's opinion of it. Right. She's so busy. Uh, these questions are tough. Yeah. See, you thought it was a piece of cake here, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> um, gosh. It's really difficult. I'm going to say no. It shouldn't call once a week. No. How often should he call? When you get a, you really feel like you got something to say, you want to say hello. Yeah. You know. Think so? You agree with me? You think I'm wrong? <laughs> you know her better than I. Now, there are, there are mothers all over America saying, no, no, <laughs> once a week at least. Okay. <laughs> You're going to say, uh, no, should not call at least once a week. Here she comes. Phyllis, do you think a son living away from his home should call his mother at least once a week? Yes, even if just to ask for money. <laughs> oh. No, he said no. He didn't think so. How often does Perry call? Twice a day. Twice a day. Perfect. What a good son. Jeez. <laughs> Patrick, what will Shirley say? Yeah, I, for sure. Um, my, my mother and I have a really close relationship, I, and, I, and I think I call at least three times a week. So I think once a week is, is more, it, would, is, it should be much more than once a week, but, but I'm going to say once a week for you sure. You say definitely once yeah. a week. Okay, here she comes. Hello. Hello there. Hello, Charlie. Do you? What do you think about this? Well, I know what Marty would say. What would he say? He'd say at least once a day. Mm -hmm. But uh, I say no. Uh, no, he said yes. He said at least once a week. Actually, more. He said. Really? Oh. Now, now, how often do you talk on the phone about? Well, see, I don't think anything is a necessity. I would like to hear from Patrick once a week. Exactly. But I've never made a demand that he call once. No, no. But we didn't say to man. We said, do you think a son of... How many times do you think he should Listen call his mother? Listen to the question, Mother dear. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sanford, a lot of money up for grabs. Neither fella got it right. What do you think? Okay, I think that weekly contact is... Um, I think she would like to have that weekly contact on the strength that when I used to go see, the, well, I do go see the Jeffersons every week. And she said, you don't have to come every week, you know, because I come in the dressing room with my gang and she gets tired of seeing me. Then when I don't come, she, oh, you don't come. I might as well not even leave tickets with your name at the door. <laughs> you know, when I don't come. So is that weekly contact is, pro is really important to her. So I would say yes. Once a week, at least. Yes, once a week. All yes. right, here she comes. We'll find out. Isabel, we need your answer. What do you Yes. Think? That's right. What is that? Okay, you get the whole hundred and a half right there. All right, now listen carefully. Uh, this is a $300 question. Anybody can still win. No problems. Plenty close. Mothers, when you and your son get stuck in a terrible traffic jam, which one of you shows more impatience, you or your son, would you say? <laughs> Off you go. It's funny, you might be enough alike. You might react almost the same way. I have a feeling you guys are all pretty close. What do you think, uh, Perry? What will, what will your mother say? Well, in the back seat of my car, I have one of those kitty sets for mother because she is the back seat driver of all time. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, she makes signals for me <laughs> when I'm going straight. Is she stamping on the brake and there's no oh, pedal there? And she's all horrible. That? She's horrible. <laughs> uh, she's and you know, one time I was behind her when she was driving and she made a, a left turn on a red light. In California, you can do that on a right turn. Yeah, but not. You understand like... what kind of driver she is? <laughs> Bad. Uh, she has zero patience. So, so it would be her. Her. Is that what the question was? I Which think one it was. of you would be more impatient? Is that right? And is there, is there, yes. Which one would be more impatient? Here she comes. Phyllis, which one of you would show more impatience? I think Perry would be more impatient than uh, I. Am. No, he did a big story about how you would be. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, you don't have to know everything about each other. You've done very well. <laughs> Could I have a different kid? Sure. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> Uh, what will your mother say, Patrick? It's it's got to be me. I'm 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 much more like my father in the sense, like the other question. And she is so real easy going, and she doesn't get impatient barely ever unless it's with me. So I would say that um, 
it's for sure me that would be much more impatient. Okay, like here she comes. Shirley, we're getting down to it now between you oh, and Patrick. Oh, yes. Well, I have to say, patience is not one of Patrick's virtues. I would have to say he would be more. That's the one. Okay, here we go. This will, uh, this will decide the game, Sanford. If you get it right, you will win. But if you don't, Shirley and Patrick will come from behind and win it. on. Okay, it depends on who's driving. You didn't say who would be driving, right? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, I'll assume I, I, I'm driving. Okay. So I would say I would have less patience. You would, have, you would be more impatient. More impatient. Right? Less patient. All right, here she okay. comes. We'll find out. Isabel, this will decide the game. If you're stuck in traffic with Sanford, which one of you shows the more impatience? Definitely me. No, he said, he said him, Shirley and Patrick are right, get the whole $350 banana section wins. The whole 300 I should say. We'll come back in a moment, and they're impatient for their money. Do you have an idea for a new... 889. We're sent 1995 plus 595 shipping to Ray Stevens, P.O. Box 7008, Department 68, Tarzana, California. Two great tapes, one low price. Call now. Game Show Network gets you interactive on the net. Take a tour around our live studio. Compete against other players on Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy to obtain national acclaim. Take a look at the latest information on special contests, feature presentations, and totally new games. Check out streaming video featuring your favorite Game Show Network programs. www.sony.com gets you in on the games. You're watching Game Show Network. Next up, it's to tell the truth. Then, it's What's My Line. And then, it's the newlywed game. Big winners today, the banana section with Shirley and Patrick, $425. We had 1000 they would buy $1,425. Not bad. Thank you all, and thank you at home for watching this on Tata Bell. I'll see you right here the next time. Thanks so much. Bye. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive Asper Cream for fast effective relief from minor arthritis pain without the side effects pills may cause. Asper Cream's non-aspirin form of penetration relief right where you hurt. Deluxe Norelco digital blood pressure and pulse meter, large LED readout, tape printout, automatic cup inflation from Norelco. This Find out what folks do to earn their bucks on What's My Line later at 2.30 Eastern. Coming up, get the facts with Gary Moore and to tell the truth next, only on Game Show Network. Game Show Network presents Game TV. Nancy Sullivan. I'm back here on the set. And Dave Nemeth. They will put 30 seconds on the clock. Guide you through the ins. It's Game Show Network. And out takes. Sounds like fun of any game anywhere game tv every day live at noon only on game show network you're watching game show network